second channel video intro. Gaming. Gaming. Um, so... <clears throat> like there is no game. Oh, never mind, I lied. Today is April 1st, which means it's April Fool's Day. Which means this is a this is a joke, right? <laughs> it's not. Um, so not yesterday, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we learned about it yesterday, but I mean, technically, they announced it on April first in Japan. True, true. So I'm here with MJ. Yeah. Hey, What's up? We're gonna talk Hello. about the new rule set that just dropped. Um, this is going on the second channel, not the main channel. Usually, this go on the main channel, but the second channel is just becoming my old main channel. Um, but yeah. So regulation G. You're allowed one single restricted Pokemon. That means you can either choose Mewtwo, Lugia, Ho-Oh, Kyogre, Groudon, Rayquaza, Dialga, Dialga Origin, Palkia, Palkia Origin, Giratina, Giratina Origin, Regiram, Sekram, Kyurem, Kyurem White, Kyurem Black, uh, Cosma, Cosmoam, Solgaleo, Lunala, Necrozma, Necrozma Dustman, Necrozma Dawn Wings, Zacian, Zacian Crown, Zamazenta, Zamazenta Ground, Eternatus, Calyrex, Calyrex, Ice Rider, Calyrex, Shadow Rider, Coradon, Miradon, Terrapagos, Terrapagos Stellar, or Terrapagos Terra Shell, whatever. Order now, only $9.99 one two four moxie boosted lane that's the one yep uh and also the second thing it means is that um since it's april 1st we're stuck using these sprites <laughs> <laughs> so for convenience <laughs> i really love the ground <laughs> uh i squid weird <laughs> i squid weird <laughs> so for convenience we'll stay on this page when referring to the mod and then we'll switch over to talk about their stats this entire video is just going to be us giving our takes about the restricteds, um, some possible combos you can go with, just giving, just, you know, shooting some ideas out there for you guys to try out. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. All right. Mewtwo. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do with this is remove it from the team builder. <laughs> Agree. Now, unfortunately, bro got outclassed by every psychic type that is also a restricted, but if you want to do Shadow Rider, right? Like, they did give us Stellar Terra, so, like, sure, buddy, go for it, but you're not going to win a regional with it. Yeah, I mean, like, if you do anything with it, I think you would want to do Unnerve, which, by the way, the other guy does, too, so, you know. Um, and he has a second ability. What was that? Why did they give this? All right, I've said this in, like, eight videos now. They really should have given Mewtwo Necrozma, uh, Necrozma's old ability, Neuroforce. Make it, it coverage monster. Yeah, just make it a coverage monster, but no. So, I mean, what does he have over Shadow Rider? Let me look at Shadow Rider real quick. Does Shadow Rider get, like, a disable? Well, it does. Sure oh, my God. Does he get... Encore and disable, yeah. It's both? Yeah. Okay. We'll come back We'll come back to this guy, but Mewtwo's main thing is that it gets a Gen 1 mod, so it just gets every coverage move in the game. It gets so knockoff, like, which is pretty cool. It's it's neat. It just like wait, I wait, don't wait. know, man. <sighs> they could have given it meteor beam. That would have saved it. Expanding force is always going to be strong, especially off one fifty four. Yeah, I mean, I mean all right. So Shadow if we're going to go with anything, yeah, Terra Stellar is going to be your best uh, your best bet. Life orb that guy, maybe Choice Scarf from who knows, but like expanding force, uh, he gets and ice then beam. Just cover and then just coverage into whatever's relevant. Like, does it get a grass move? I'm pretty sure. It's grass yeah. knot. Like, dude, yeah, literally do something like that. Like, yeah. The only thing is he requires, like, he loses to freaking Incineroar. He loses to Calyrex Shadow Rider. He, he just doesn't do anything. <laughs> it's so sad. He's, one, he's only 130 speed. is so tough. Yeah. He, like, he's literally slower than Flutterman. Is, yeah, all them new Gen 9 guys got 135 speed, not 130. Low key. That's Joker Pond, so Low key, you know what they should have done with Mewtwo? Make it like worthwhile. Let it use boost your energy. It'll also be fire. Let it use boost your energy. It's just like the old Berserk gene. Uh let yeah. Me kick, I, let me let me kick it to you like this. Mewtwo, you're gonna run into it on cartridge ladder and you're gonna be like, that mon sucks. And then you're gonna get four out and you're gonna be like, what happened? My team sucks. Where am I? No, that's just you, man. Exactly, because I'm a like mid tier player. Uh, so if you're good at the game, you won't lose to me too. TLDR. Is there anything it gets from Gen 9 that's like good? I don't think he got a move. Hurricane he got in Gen 8. I remember that. Will weather Wisp? ball, I new? guess. Stellar Terra Weather Ball, I suppose. Yeah. I, he's going to be better in dual restricted, but even then, it's not even really worth it. Does he get Icy Wind? That'd be huge. He does. Okay. So maybe. There's that. a niche. There's a niche. Yeah, Thank there you, you go. Uh, yeah, probably like coverage monster, Terra Stellar. That's the best you can do with them. Lugia. 
this couldn't be more night and day what this is going to be different <laughs> yeah so i don't think lugia is good it's going to do what it's always done which is weakness policy right multi-scale weakness policy uh like calm on leftovers yeah aeroblast freaking be fat try to do damage and then fail to do damage because you're lugia yeah, lose to Incineroar clicking Snarl, because if he snarls you once, you get to plus one. If he snarls you twice, you get to zero. <laughs> I mean, Parting Shot even too, right? Yeah, like, Parting Shot sucks too. It gets Psychic Noise, cool. which is kind of cool, but like that's not really useful since a lot of the format isn't really healing moves. It's just do damage, do damage, do damage. Um, yeah. Oh, dude, and they got they nerf recovery in this game too to 8 PP. Yeah, it's, I don't know about Lugia. 90 special attack is its biggest weakness really yeah like it, it it requires it to either set up or use weakness policy so this guy's all also like not like the best option he has a you couple play, of cool you things do, you can do you he can is. do tailwind you could do icy wind sure but i think tornadus exists and you gotta remember that right like why would you want your restricted to be that keep in when mind you could just have a smaller guy do the same thing yeah lugia was on paper one of the best restricteds to run like weakness policy with dynamax in gen 8 Dynamax is gone, and even when it had Dynamax, it wasn't incredible. Like, yeah. you know, it turned Arrow Blast into Max Airstream, so that was, like, crazy. But nowadays, yeah, no. Does he get stored power? No, he doesn't get stored power. Yeah, no, this guy's got nothing. Bro has stacked no paper his entire life. Maybe in, like, Gen 4 VGC. Get an archaeologist on that one, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, we're done with not, not probably the most mid-Pokemon on the list, the first two. Ho -Oh yeah, now we is... got somebody that can at least do something. Actually, I think Ho has got some potential in this format. I agree. So its, it's biggest issue ability. before was Intimidate. Now it's got Clear Amulet, Sacred Fire, mm -hmm. Ray Bird. Uh, it doesn't get U-Turn, which annoyed me, but you would just run like Tailwind and like some third attacking move. I'm not sure what it would be, to be honest. It has a few like kind of cool options. Um, it might be a support Recovery, move, actually. Protect. Like, yeah, you could do really could protect really just like unintimidatable stab sacred fire. <laughs> Iron Head's also kind of good spam for the rest of the game because of regenerator. Like you got to you got to understand that Amoongus was in like high demand in the early days of Scarlet Violet. Right. So yeah. like, you think about like a like a fire type, a uh, grass type with regenerator and a flutter man like that didn't go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. oh, oh, can switch out into an Amoongus. I think it's a water move. And yeah, then Amoongus that, comes back into the OO to catch the, the fire move. So I think you know single restricted is interesting because the best way to think about it is in the context of matchups. It's almost like a fighting game, right? Um, yeah, yeah. Like single restricted, the best way to determine how a Pokemon is going to do is its matchup into the other restricted and less so other Pokemon. Like the other Pokemon are secondary to it. Uh, your restricted is mm -hmm. kind of your team captain. So like Ho-Oh I think has potential because one, it's unintimidatable, which is new. Um, but also, like, the best restricteds in the format, I think, are going to be, um, like, Groudon, Miraidon, uh, Calyrex Shadow Rider, Coridon, uh, and Zacian is probably still going to have some, like, usage. But basically, like, into every physical attacker, ho -Oh is a menace. You wall out non-rock move Groudons, which a lot of them aren't running rock moves right now. Um, yeah. You wall out Coridon entirely. Well. Like, that's a huge one. Calyrex Shadow doesn't want to take uh, a Sacred Fire... Uh, too much and you have like this massive special defense which lets you just eat that astral barrage so like ho has got potential i don't think it's gonna be incredible but it's gonna be like uh actually like a pick that we might see have some tournament usage for once yeah for literally for once right like this i think is probably ho's best generation showing yeah i mean the, the other time we saw ho um was 2019 and that was a ho kyogre archetype but keep in mind that game had both ferrothorn and and Kartana in it. So Ho-Oh Kyogre was actually a really solid combo. Uh nowadays we don't have like any grass steels, I think, at all. Do we have grass steels? I think like Warmadam Warmadam isn't even in the game, is it? Yeah. Are there no grass steels? Those those I don't think there's a grass steel, but there's also those were also primal weather guys, right? That yeah. was like primal Kyogre, Primal Groudon. Oh oh is always gonna be like taking advantage of Groudon's Sun. And now there's two Sunsetters, one of them being a fighting type. So I think yeah, that's really what's both of them don't want to get burned. It's like a counter pick. It's like a big counter pick. Yeah. One. Ho is definitely a counter pick mon. That's a good way to put it. He's not going to be the main guy, right? Like, but he will be up there in usage. So. All right. Is it time to break the bad news? 
This is device. This is like uh, this is a divisive what, opinion. This is contentious. Um, the streets, the streets are mad at this one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> our ops have been informed of our take, and they will be arriving at our house shortly. Um, so Kyogre, I don't think is gonna be good. It's it's gonna be Kyogre, right? Yeah. It's always gonna have it. You know, it's look at these stats. Look at that ability. It's always gonna pump. have water spout, but you know what? It's not it's always gonna have things that will just let you water spot it. <laughs> That's what this format Literally. is. Uh, we have to open Why, up another team builder. The everything, the Kyogre theorem. You get what I'm talking about? Like, yeah. We, we gotta understand, we have Ogre Pond Water, we got Raging Bolt, we got all these, and you can sit there and be like, well, but there's always a counter to a Pokemon. Yeah, but like when they're like high usage Pokemon like this, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to this think. This is tough. What other, what other mons are just ruining uh, Kyogre's like existence right now? Gastron Double is always gonna user. be good and restricted. That's my take. Um, Double Sun user. <laughs> oh yeah, literally Corrid on, Grout on. Like these mods oh, existing. Not, not, not to mention the other two guys that clear weather. We'll get to them later. Oh, but yeah, Terrapagos is kind of a cool one. Anti weather. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, but like these guys, like especially this dude. Like I can't get over these sprites. Thunderclap is really annoying for it. Um, I mean, like I've seen some people try to get around it with Raichu. Um. But Raichu doesn't beat Ogre Pond. <laughs> like, Ogre Pond already has like mad spit F. Uh, you one shot the Raichu with, uh, you know, uh, your your Ivy Cudgel, and you wall out Kyogre like entirely. Like, what is it gonna click into you? Thunder. Thunder's neutral. Ice Beam's neutral. You have mad spit F. You outspeed it and Horn Leech it. it. The best thing Kyogre has to beat Ogre Pond is freaking uh, Tornadus and. Ogre Pond Raging Bolt is a thing. Like, it's already a thing. Like, people just know that, like, these two are going to be phenomenal together still. So, Kyogre, you can still make it work, don't get me wrong, but, like, a Kyogre team is probably going to look like... <sighs> They're going to look very different than they ever have. I yeah, think I I'm thinking, like, is Raichu, Ferrigaraf, Tornadus stuff, you know? Um, yeah. Like, it doesn't want to get hit by priority moves like Grassy. I think Ferrigaraf is going to be, like, essential to Kyogre teams. Uh, Tornadus is going to be essential. The Raichu is the contentious one. Uh, maybe you maybe you just, like, forego the Raichu entirely uh, and run something else. But, yeah, Kyogre is a single restricted. Probably not the call right now. As a double restricted, we'll, we'll get around to that uh, later on. I'm thinking even the set might change. Like, it's not going to be just mash water spout anymore. Like, you might have to do, like, call mine origin pulse ice beam type of... Uh, Leftovers know, isn't even that bad, to be honest. Yeah. Like, yeah. like if you go, so, like, calm mine Kyogre origin mind pulse mind. next to, like, a ferrigraph and you, like, set up trick room. Right. And you like, go, like, terror grass. I think will always find a way because this guy's just built insane. Yeah, but I think, I it, think it's, it's, it's playing completely different now. It's going to be, yeah, it's going to take a little while to reinvent the wheel. Does it get scald still? No. It took Scald from it. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, I think that you could actually just do Origin Pulse. Does it get Muddy Water still? That that set right there is my yeah. guess. Yeah, this is probably going to be the set. Um, Thunder is another option, but I think you'd rather it's, just it, have Ice Beam. I'm not going to lie. It's also very similar to how Groudon is running right now, too, where it's a setup move, a spread move, and then a coverage move. Yeah. So Groudon, Groudon. Groudon has two options. Assault Vest is phenomenal. The only issue is Assault Vest taken up by the best Assault Vest user in the game, which is either Rillaboom or Raging Bolt, which both love Groudon. Um, so but this guy got a fun new tool. That yeah, most of these so, so a lot of Groudon are clear amulet right now, meaning you can't intimidate them, which is insane. Um, they also have Fluttermane next to them, meaning that you can hit like that 139 speed tier and run like Turbo Groudon, right? Hit like that way, plus one, you got run all decent, the base two oh five. Yeah, hit like a decent attack stat, and you just run like Swords Dance, Protect, Precipice Blades, Fire Punch, right? Yeah. PSA, please run Fire Punch. Never run Heat Crash. I found this out the hard way. You get forty base power into Calyrex Ice. Jesus yeah, Christ, just fire just punch. use Fire Punch. <laughs> uh, there's a couple of good Terras for it. Fire is a pretty okay Terra because you know you get stab on Fire Punch, and now uh, with Sun Up, you you know get even more power uh you resist ice moves which is pretty cool you, you remain weak to water which kind of sucks i'm partial to terra grass but if you want to not lose to calyrex ice uh you probably want to go fire or water water. water is not even bad I, i've been i've been calling crowd on a fire water or grass mon because of that yeah. like all three of them are really good defensively on it and it really just comes down to the rest of your team yeah but groudon's got crazy partners so you know how like you know how like <laughs> you know how like um kyogre like this is a list of kyogre's ops yeah, this is, this is Groudon's team. 
<laughs> this is <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah, right, right. So, up with so here's here's a list of Pokemon <laughs> that Groudon not only enables but works really really well with, right? So here's Raging Bolt. Here's Fluttermane. Uh, Rillaboom. And like Pokemon honestly, those four you can win a regional with that, Loki. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Chen Pao is also not bad. On hard flame is also crazy. I've seen Chen Pao ground on teams. They're like actually insane. Ice ground, the strongest coverage you can get. Yeah. It yeah, makes so... sense too, right? Because Chen Pao inf incentivizes Incineroar usage into the battle, and then Groudon with a clear amulet is like, please give me more Incineroar, please. Yeah. Not to mention Groudon can also run Chi Yu Flutter next to it. The snack that smiles back. Yeah. The heat wave that burns the rest of the crackers. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, <laughs> hey, whoa. <laughs> all right, all right, um, who's next? Rayquaza because he actually has a niche too, yeah. So, shout out to all of the strong physical attacking restrictions, restricted legendaries that like really, really didn't want to get hit by intimidate because this guy can also run clear, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, most Rayquaza are clear amulet right now. Um, the thing with Rayquaza is we have to compare it to Dragonite, which is hilarious. Imagine, like, imagine telling people in the past, like. Rayquaza's biggest competition is Dragonite. <laughs> so, I mean, like, we already know, like, Dragonite, Chen Pao, Rayquaza, or Dragonite, Chen Pao's a thing, right? Where Dragonite right. gets to click uh, Choice Band Extreme Speed What's and not normal? be intimidated because of Inner Focus off of base 134 attack. Rayquaza's a little different. Um, Rayquaza gets to invest heavily in bulk, which it has tons of bulk, by the way. Look at this. I didn't realize how fat it was until now. Um, yeah, well, that 105 HP carries for sure. Yeah, and you, you do like Terra Normal, of course. Terra Normal. Um, and you run Dragon Ascent, Extreme Speed, Protect, Swords Dance. And this is all you need. You get walled by Steels, but like you can just run like a Chiyu next to it or like some other fire type. Um, and well, because walled by Steels is also at kind plus of two, it's yeah, not going to feel not, like not, you not walled, by steals. walled by Steels, Loki. <laughs> Um, yeah, so because uh, Rayquaza has such like insane attack and it already hits harder than Dragonite like by default, you can like do a similar thing to like Groudon where you like hit like a decent attack stat, like one of the bumps. Um, you max out like that uh, HP and you probably want to run like more speed than you think you want to for an extreme speed spammer just so you don't lose to other uh, Rayquaza. Uh, but like, yeah, this is like a Rayquaza now. Uh, the main difference is that like Dragonite's, Dragonite's like immediate damage, um, where Rayquaza is, if you get a Swords Dance off, you can like sweep whole teams. Uh, obviously, it hates Frigograph. Um, and yeah, like <laughs> it hates Frigograph and Psychic Train and stuff. So, I don't know. Uh, definitely loves Chen Pao. Chen Pao is probably going to run Ice Spinner in this format, if I had to guess, because, you know, Psychic Train. Chim Power Request is going to like those uh, like physical attacking fire water grass type Pokemon. So like all of the Ogre Ponds and then the Urshifu water uh, Rillaboom Incineroar type core. You know what I mean? That has been a thing since Gen 8. It's definitely going to appreciate those those mods. Yeah. I'm actually double curious. Stick out to allow Swords Dances and then like Urshifu to hit through Protect on the extreme speeds. Like, yeah. I'm kind of curious how it much Adamant Terror could be normal. real. I'm hoping it has a niche because I just like Rayquaza as a Pokemon. So oh yeah, Rayquaza's like... cool, but I feel like it's going to be the sort of niche where like if it actually does find a niche, uh, everyone's going to hate them now. In the same vein as Chimpo Dragonite? Yeah, probably. Yeah, so like, <laughs> here, here. So like Extreme Speed and what was it? Uh, Dragon Ascent, right? Dragon Ascent into what's like a good... Eh, Groudon. Groudon's a good check. Groudon, Kyogre, yeah. Like max HP Groudon. Your extreme Yo, speed with Sword of Ruin active is doing 75 to 89, and it, Dragon Essence will win. Just like a That's straight up push-up. What was that? Did you Terra? Yeah, you I Terra. Without the Terra. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, Ascent kills forever, so that's cool. Yeah, like that's actually insane. Kyogre, keep in mind, Kyogre doesn't actually run a lot of bulk usually, so if it's like 4 HP, it also um, has your, your extreme defense, speed yeah. is a roll to KO. <laughs> That's crazy. And that's that's with the 156. Like you can go higher. You can go 236. Like I was I was going like max bulk, like max potential bulk. If you do go like 236 for the next bump, that is next bump, right? Yeah. Uh then yeah, your extreme speed just one shots every Kyogre and has a really high chance of one shotting ground on, I'm pretty sure. Right. I mean, think about that 222 team, right? That's been a thing since Rig A. With Chimpao, Dragonite, uh 
Fluttermane, Gu, Dondo, Zotatsugiri. What? Oh my What's god, is Rayquaza the Dondo Zotatsugiri gonna be a thing? <laughs> is Rayquaza the new Dozogiri guy? Maybe. Possible. I, All right. I could see it. Dialga Origin. This one's interesting. Um, Hi, Squidward. Hi, Squidward. Uh, so the difference between Dialga and Dialga Origin is it loses some attack and gets it added to its defense. So it goes from 120 attack to 120 defense. This is just a straight up upgrade. There is no reason to run regular Dialga right now. Um, unless you want to run like Life Orb, I guess. Him. But... You save yeah. that on an item slot too, though, because this is 1.2 power. Like, do you really need the 1.3 from a life orb? No. No. <laughs> like, unless you really want that earth power to hit, you know? Uh, but this guy, like, he's a good Trick Room Pokemon. Like, he, you know, can run that move very well. Uh, Draco Meteor. You don't want you don't want to run Rora Time. Rora Time is it's just it's just hyper beam with dragon type. You know, not really worth it. Uh, but yeah, like uh Trick Room, Draco Meteor, Flash Cannon, and one final move. It depends how good like Kyogre ends up being. Like if Kyogre is great, run Thunderbolt. Um, but I don't think it's gonna be. Uh, I would assume. Actually, this guy's got a really good Rayquaza matchup. That's kind of big. Wait, Dialga Origin might actually be like phenomenal if we're being real. This is really bulky and very strong, so I can yeah. see it. Yeah. Probably Terra Fairy. Uh, to make sure that you uh resist fighting type moves. Urshifu you check. Do, yeah. You do Terra Blast. The last move. Ooh. Wait, this is actually really scary. Wait a minute. This is a little slept on. This might be something that, like, we need to look into. Yeah. I've been saying that, like, this guy with uh, Ursaluna could be crazy, too, right? Because you actually Ooh, get the earthquake. Yeah, Ursaluna. Here's the thing. Like, we're going to realize that, like, people are going to build so hyper-specifically around, like, Restricteds that, like, they're going to forget about mons that will always be good, like Ursaluna. I, I actually really agree with yeah. you. Dialga, Ursaluna could be a real core. Right. Does this guy get a spread move at all? No, I don't. He gets like Earthquake, but... Well, yeah. Does this yeah. guy get a good spread move? <laughs> he gets Gravity. What could you which, what could you do with Gravity there? Uh, probably not much. Does Ursula get Hypnosis? <laughs> I mean, uh, look, all we really need from this is that it's our Chalodon's dead, and it's a Flash Cannon that actually one-shots Fluttermane, so we'll take that. <laughs> yeah, literally, our Chalodon's dead. All right. um, It's our Chalodon, but good. <laughs> yeah. Palkia Origin is really interesting. It's 120 base speed, like much higher than most of the other restricteds. Um, and it is a Trick Room user. I don't think you want to use Trick Room. You can make it a case for regular Palkia if you want to do Trick Room. Um, but I think Palkia Origin is usually going to be the call. This guy can run a number of moves that are pretty decent. Uh, namely, you know, you obviously want not Draco Meteor. You want Spatial Ren on this guy, which is really awesome. High crit ratio. Um, what if you do like dragon to your spatial rend? That would be crazy. That that's that's definitely gonna be a thing something try, uh, somebody tries. But yeah, um, I also, think this guy's biggest like weakness, unfortunately, wonderful. is that it has to rely on hydro pump. Yeah, that's definitely an issue. Uh, it gets earth but power. That I, I, think, hits the bus, I think this so. would just be the move set. Maybe like flamethrower actually. You could get quirky with it. You can maybe do like Terra Ice Blizzard and run it with Nine Tails if you want to be a quirkster. But oh no, uh, you would not do that because Kyurem is just objectively better. That's what that's what I'm thinking, right? Yeah. So this guy, like stat wise, he's both the unstoppable force, immovable object type guy, type of guy, right? Because his bulk's crazy. His special attacks are nuts. Um, oh, yeah, Icy Wind could be a thing. I want to be Terra Steel to make sure you're not losing the Flutter Man. But also. If you're going to run Palkia Origin, why not just run Walking Wake? Well, uh, I mean, Wake is, is significantly less bulky and significantly less strong. Yeah, but like this lets you have a similar Pokemon next to a Groudon or Coradon. True. I do think Origin Palkia does get better in Double Restricted. Oh, Super yeah. Double Restricted, we'll have to see. But I, I think this like, guy's Because then you can run like Kyogre Palkia. Yeah, I don't think this guy's like top of the pack by any means, but like if on our right team, it could be a problem because that typing is so good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Giratina, we can ignore him. It's not going to be good. I have multiple videos explaining why it's not good on the main channel. But what is it? Does he have Poltergeist in this game? It does, but it doesn't get to use it on anything that matters. Groudon. Groudon. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna let me tell you something. This thing's only role is it beats Groudon. That is all it does. Which 
Which, hey, buddy, if Ho Oh is a counterpick Pokemon, so is. Well, Ho is a counterpick to like Groudon and friends. This is a counterpick to exclusively Groudon. This, this thing walls Coridon better than Ho Oh walls Coridon. Yes, but you have to keep in mind that Ho Oh walls both Coridon and Groudon while also not losing to every single like Calyrex and Zacian. And Lunala. Zacian's not. Oh, come on. Uh, Zacian's not going to be bad. He's not going to be bad, but he's not going to be like. Yeah. I, but like, and also, you, you live Zacian's move. Look at your bulk. I know, I know you do. 100 but defense. Calyrex is still right there. You have Shadow Sneak. I think the set on no, this guy. No, Calyrex can Shadow get a Shadow Sneak very easily. I'm not I'm not even going to lie. Off 120 with the Grisius? Yeah, tapping. like he can live that. Also, they're all Terra Fairy right now. So, and they, it, it, they, will, they will burn it. Because, like, burning a Terra on Calyrex well. is so worth it. Getting, yeah, no, if, if they're Wisp, like, Sash defensive type shit, you can, yeah. Yeah, the, the best Giratina can do is, like, this move set. Does it get Sword Dance? Does it get Dragon one. Dance? Can it get Dragon Dance? Just give it Dragon Dance. Like, if you gave it Dragon Dance, it could do something. Does it get Scale Shot? It does, but... Oh, no, it doesn't. That's kind of cool. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, okay, it doesn't, protect, it doesn't and get then like what's anything. the move over with? You know what? You, you know, know what's messed up? It doesn't even I get believe. trick room. It doesn't get trick room. I'm, look, bro, I believe in this guy. Look at through the moves you got. Pulse because it's so strong. Physical ghost moves. You know what? Feel free to prove me wrong. Um, no one has yet. Oh, he's intimidatable too, which is yeah. really bad. Yeah, because your item's taken up. <laughs> you want to know something? Here's the issue with Giratina Origin. Giratina Origin wants giratina origin stats but it doesn't want giratina origins item it wants to be able to run yeah. like a clear amulet or like a life orb or like safety goggles or literally anything but the core yeah what's your dragon move on this guy draco meteor probably yeah but then you're giving up your physical so you probably just go claw well you'd have to do both <laughs> well you're not going dragon claw draco for every hit heart like 120 special attack maybe he's a special attacker maybe i looked at him wrong Maybe he's garbage, Marcos. I think he's garbage. No, like, don't, don't, yeah, even, don't even. Wait, 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 Let's stop coping about he's him. He's off the ground so he can't even get grassy terrain. Bro, why is he built so weird? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, they built this Mon to dodge every single benefit it could have had. Okay. Reshi Ram. Kind of an interesting Mon. Uh, Wall Zacian pretty well. Um, good special defense. So it does well into, um, does well into, like, Calyrex Shadow if you run, like, an Assault Vest set. Yeah. Unlike... Giratina. He's got his stats in the right places that he won. He has good moves to take advantage of it, too. It's also you got a flare, decent fire move. Flare. Blue Flare being 20% chance to burn isn't bad. You got Fusion Flare, too, if you want to be not a gambler. Fusion Flare? Oh, yeah, I guess that is. 100, 100. That is just as consistent as it gets. That's true. Yeah, I guess you would just run Fusion Flare, then. I, I forgot that he even got that move. Uh, Draco Meteor, Fusion Flare, Earth Power. I mean, we've seen this tailwind. before. It, sure? Does it get Tailwind? It does yeah. get Tailwind. I don't think you would run it, though. I think you would just, like... I think you delegate that to Tornadus. Yeah. yeah, like, you would either delegate to Tornadus or run this guy on balance. Uh, he gets Scorching mm -hmm. Sand, which is pretty interesting. I mean, this could also be a Terra Blaster, right? With Assault Vest, you got those three for coverage, and then yeah. whatever you Actually, I'm going to be real. I think you drop Earth Power for Scorching Sands. I think that you don't mind the drop in power for the chance to burn. Especially on, like, a Groudon. Just keep yeah. fishing. Yeah. In best of three, I get it. Oh, you got Heat Wave, too, for Spread Fire move. Yeah, you could do that. Uh, the main issue with this guy is that he's he doesn't have sun. You would have to set up sun manually. Um, and he's competing he's, for a yeah. spot as a fire type, which is one of the most crowded slots in the game right now. Right. He's definitely, like, a counter pick delegated to that because it's single restricted. If it was double, you'd run it with Groudon and then click, like, Terrify or Heat Wave or something. <laughs> I don't even know what he's but, a counter pick yeah. to. Like, um, he doesn't really counter, like, anything but Zacian. <laughs> uh... Cali, maybe. Which one? Calyrex Ice? Both decently. Yeah, it's debatable. It's debatable. Too, I, mean, you, I don't think. Yeah, like it, it's neutral into both is what I would say. Yeah, he goes neutral into most guys. So it's going to feel like when you're playing Rush Ram team, 
that you're like that like every matchup is hard but if you're like cool with that you can maybe get through it you know what yeah. i'm saying Zekrom. If you like having no good matchups, <laughs> Rem's the guy for you. Zekrom's another clear amulet guy. Oh, for sure. It's really hard. Um, yeah, I, I, to be honest, I don't think there's a reason to run Zekrom when you can run Kieran Black. Yeah, it's typing is what's holding it back the most, I think. Because you're in a Groudon format, and you're an electric type. Yeah, like low key, I don't even think I want to cover Zekrom. <laughs> like, if you like, want, if you want this typing, just run Raging Bolt, right? Like Dragon Dance with Clear Amulet, and then Fusion Bolt plus get Earthquake. Like, it doesn't get Earthquake. I was gonna say you could tear a ground. It doesn't get a good Dragon move mainly. Like, you, do you have Breaking Swipe at least? It definitely has Breaking Swipe. There's no way it doesn't. Yeah, it's got Breaking. You can do like Dragon Dance, Breaking yeah, Swipe. Like um, but then strike. at that point, why aren't you roaring? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like this is the type of guy where the tools are on non-restricted pokemon so you should probably just be using those this yeah. would be a kyogre counter pick but kyogre we already said is like already yeah and this guy loses to like most other restricteds yeah it loses to most of them uh kieran black objectively just better um because it has a better offensive typing you also get ice moves uh it doesn't get like ice uh ice school spear this ice gen spear. yeah so like you can either go like clear amulet or you could run loaded dice. I think loaded dice is a pretty interesting one. Uh, it doesn't get sword stance; it gets yeah. dragon dance, right? Yeah, but you also get scale shot, so it's double move benefiting from loaded dice. This is just backscalibur 2.0. Yeah, it is literally just backscalibur 2.0. Um, Which, if the stats are enough to justify using it over backscalibur, I could see that being interesting. Yeah, he's kind of a coverage monster right now because like. I think if you have like Tailwind, this guy's actually really scary. I, I don't even know if you'd run loaded dice. I think you would actually just go clear amulet to make sure you're never getting intimidated. And like I mean, you might not even need um <laughs> this is your best physical. I think you do way. just do that though, to be honest. Like do it anyway. Yeah. People like before before there was loaded dice, people were kind of fine with getting two to three hits. You gotta gamble on Groudon though. Not really. I mean like you have decent physical bulk. It's a guaranteed two shot, I'm pretty sure. I mean, for sure. Like, if you get four, but like, you can guarantee you get four and just kill Groudon, you know what I'm saying? You can also tech on Freeze Dry to uh, just I'm, annihilate he, Ogre Pond. Here's my thing I think Kieran Black is going to be like, these are going to be the weirdest looking teams because he needs a lot going for him. If you're loaded dice, you need to have Defiant users to stop Incineroar usage. I don't even think you're under. You have to have like, to probably Snow on the team to get that buff from the, the ice type. Yeah, the more I look at it, the more I think you don't run dragon coverage. You just go Ice Skull, Spear, Fusion Bolt, Freeze Dry, Protect. Or DD over Freeze Dry. Yeah, I I, I really like Freeze Dry specifically because like you just one shot Ogre Pond. Like there is no Ogre Pond that takes that. I mean, I, I don't think there's an Ogre Pond that takes plus one Ice Spear. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> That's true, but you also have to gamble. Also, if Gastrodon ends up being good, you know, you just... Yeah. Kieran White, yeah, nope. this guy is arguably the biggest sleeper pick right now, if I had to be honest. Um, Terra Ice, we Choice Scar? Look, we saw Articuno do something, and that mon is significantly more dick than... Yeah, you than run it guy. like Articuno. <laughs> you run this guy like Articuno, but like he actually kills things in like one turn, which Articuno this already killed things in one turn. Does this also get freeze drive? Yes. Dude, you could literally just do the exact Articuno team that's running around. Oh my with... god, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you would run like Earth Power. Yeah. I think, I, I, to be honest, you drop <laughs> Sheer Cold. You drop Sheer Cold. You just go Blizzard Freeze Dry. Uh, just Earth Power. Fusion Flare too. Yeah. Dude. There you go. This guy's actually be really good, I think. This thing's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see. So Galio. I mean, you got the built-in clear amulet, so that's nice. But yeah, like, what you, you could try like energy? gouging Solgaleo. That could be interesting. Um, like boost your energy, gouging fire with like Howl. But this guy probably just like Terra Water it. it. I don't think he's gonna be worth running in single restricted just because he's like marginally better Metagross. Agree. His stats don't look as crazy. He's got really nice HP. But he's Metagross like with it. Trick Room. <laughs> but he doesn't have the speed to use Trick Room. Even like. Uh, it depends. If you run no speed, maybe, and like all bulk. But like, what's your setup move on this guy? Does he get like Swords Dance? I think he does, actually. No, he doesn't. Get Dragon Dance? Bulk up? Doesn't get anything. 
That's the that's the killer right there. That's the make or break, I think. Yeah. It gets knockoff. That's kind of like, cool. Oh, dude, Morning Sun would have been sick as like anti on like tech. I mean, this guy could actually be a little scary now that I think about it. Like a Life Orb, Trick Room, Sunseal Strike, Psychic Fangs, knockoff. That's actually kind of a scary mon. I think it's still the same concept of why not Metagross though, because he gets all the same moves. Does he get Trick Room? Trick. Okay, but like, use that on another mon. Shut up. All right, so Lunala, right? Uh, Lunala is actually probably going to be like. Not power anklet, power herb. Uh, probably actually gonna be one of the best Pokemon, I think. Um, this is this is one of the restrictions that like you want to be clicking Trick Room on because it's really unstoppable. Like Shadow Shield, so you're not dying to anything. You're unfake outable because you're a ghost. And if your partner has any way to deny Taunt or Spore or like you know what I mean, like if your partner has fake out or follow me, which there's a lot of. In you're this also format. probably the best fairy type in the format. Yeah, like having Moon Guys Beam and, and Moon Blast. Uh, Meteor. <laughs> Oh, your moon blast. I guess, yeah, do, do, do be in the moon. <laughs> I didn't think it got You know there. what? You know how we said that uh, Ursaluna might actually be, like, solid in this format? Dude, Lunala Ursaluna is actually kind of scary. Yeah. I th I'm, I'm happy that Trick Room doesn't look like garbage. <laughs> yeah, well, like, Trick Room gets better the worse Kyogre is. Yeah. Because, like, a lot of Trick Room setup gets invalidated by, like, Water Spout. This is also a premier wide guard user. Oh, yeah, it does get wide guard. Um, you could drop Moonblast for Wide Guard, but I and just run Terra Fairy defensively. Yeah, yeah, that monster. Because this is going to be tough to take down. That those stats are sturdy. This guy I've been trying to build. He's really hard to make work. I can't find a, a reason to run him, but he's one of my favorites. Uh, this psychic, one does get sword stats though, right? Yeah, Sunsteel sure. Strike, Trick Room, Psychic Fangs, Clear Amulet. Um, maybe sword Earthquake, fans, right? I guess, and like Terra Ground. Uh, at that point, I think you're coping. I feel like yeah, you got Sword Stance, right? This is the one that has set up. So I oh yeah, that's that's what I sorry. Over so I like Terra Water. It's also stronger. It's also slower. So it's like I think this is just gonna be what replaces Solgaleo. <laughs> yeah. So like this guy's interesting. I don't have much to say about him. Like you always want to run him with Ogre Pond and like Trick Room because it lets you not lose to Amoongus. Um, and like that's all I have to say about him. Like he's so he's still cooking. Like we don't know what to do with him. I think this with a balanced core is definitely going to be nice. Like Incin, Ogre Water, maybe an Amoongus. It's going to be better in dual restricted. That for sure, but I think even now it has a niche. Because this is another one of those guys that goes even into probably everything just because its ability is crazy and its stats are nuts. Yeah. But it's going to be like a, it's going to feel like a slightly uphill matchup into everything because the other guys are probably more broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, mind you, Incineroar can outspeed you and knock off, meaning that it will eventually get to intimidate you. Yeah. Zacian. Uh, a lot of people say this guy fell off. I'm not terribly convinced. I just think that what happens is now Swords Dance is mandatory. He's not an S plus tier. He's an A tier. Oh, yeah, no. he's like A tier, right? He's still, he's still got a ridiculous <laughs> yeah. speed stat. And honestly, yeah. the um, the incentivization of running, you know, um, the incentivization of running freaking Swords Dance on this means that like, Bulkization is just kind of the call, right? I think you just like outspeed like Adamant Chen Pao and like make this guy fat, and then you're like set. Yeah, <laughs> like he's he's probably fine. He also gets Terra Water, which is ridiculous. This thing with Terra, th like the Terra is probably is gonna be what saves Zacian. Yeah, I think Zacian's still gonna be really good. Personally, I don't think it's gonna be like the best Pokemon. I think the best Pokemon is Kalias, but Zacian's yeah, still gonna no, be that good. that typing on a balance score with like either the double fake outers or ogre pond click and follow me like that's that's just gonna be strong yeah uh here's copemon this guy got iron defense body press now what are you doing bro oh he does get iron defense body press now doesn't he yeah that, it's what he's locked to doing for the rest of his entire life unfortunately but like sure. you know what sucks <laughs> about that doesn't uh, get leftovers recovery you have to run him with rillaboom or like wo chen <laughs> What, yeah, what sucks about this is that Reggie Steel does it better. Yeah, like this is definitely a mon where it's like, why would you not just run like some other guy who doesn't take a restricted slot? He'll be a little better in dual restricted, but like only because he can pair with Groudon and that's like it. Yeah, I agree. You know, we've does seen get, we've like, seen this guy coaching? work really well with Groudon in the past. Do you still get kept coaching or how? Uh, I believe coaching is a thing again. Yeah, let me see. Coaching? Yeah, it still gets coaching. Okay, so maybe. Yeah, but, but like, for now, this yeah, guy's a little cooked, a little cooked. <laughs> yeah, 
Um, Eternatus. I'm on Team Eternatus right now. I'm not I gonna lie. This. Shut um, up, man. <laughs> so Eternatus. I'll let him take this over. Eternatus has two move sets, right? You have the Power Herb Eternatus, the one that the one that makes people like you. Yeah, with uh, <laughs> was it Meter Beam, Sludge Bomb, Protect, and um, Dynamax Cannon, right? Or, or Flamethrower. Flamethrower is actually probably better. I don't even think you want. Yeah. And like this is actually a really scary set to go up against. It's just better Glamora. Um, because you just nuke things. And that's also really fat. Like this guy's incredibly hard to take down. Uh Terra Water's crazy on him. That sort yeah. of thing. Uh and then there's or, the funny set. You have the set that makes your friends not like you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this this set this set got me chewed out by all my friends last night. You uh, can tell which one I lost to yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. And you're on that guy next to Incineroar, Wochen, Fluttermain, um... Things that can buy you turns. Things that buy you a lot of time. And the best part is, uh, you start to wall out Specs Calyrex Shadow after, like, two cosmic powers. And because... Here's the best part about Stall Eternatus. Because you have pressure, and we're playing a restricted format, they will run out of moves. I stalled MJ out of, uh, out of Surging Strikes on his Urshifu, which was my win con. Yep. I, I stalled so, Balin out of like out of four. um freaking uh what is it called? Astral Barrages. Barrages, which was my win con. Like that is a thing that will happen with Eternatus. Because a lot of these moves are like spread, it means that Eternatus gets targeted, so pressure applies. Yeah, and the thing is faster cover on a pressure mod will always Oh be yeah, good. it's faster than Flutter Singles Man. knowledge, but like you can force singles like knowledge to be applied so. Yeah, like you run timid. And what Timid lets you do is it lets you um, max out your bulk while still outspeeding stuff like uh, Adamant Chen Pao and like, you know, Timid Flutterman and stuff. Um, and yeah, like that's, that's or Adamant Flutterman, I mean, <laughs> not Adamant, Modest Flutterman. Uh, and that just lets you outspeed, set up, recover. Oh, wait, not, I don't protect him from recover. Yeah, this guy's really fun. Calyrex this guy's more fun. I'm normal. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's this guy's crazy. Uh, grass next next to Groudon, I think this is probably the best clear amulet restricted. Oh yeah, glacial lance is ridiculous. Uh, it did get a nerf this gen from 130 to 120. Whoop de doo. Uh, <laughs> I didn't I didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah, no, no one noticed. Because it gets swords dance, it gets trick room, it gets perfect coverage in ice ground. Like you run this, this thing, thing next to a Moongus or Ogre Pond, you're like set. Yeah, like he's definitely the token hard tricker in Pokemon, but like good. <laughs> yeah, have fun it, paying. It have fun paying sixty dollars to get this Pokemon. I wanna, I wanna briefly mention that this thing needs to be explored on Tailwind as well. If we're making the Ursaluna right now, who has the same speed stat, like, bro. <laughs> yeah. Fast Glacial Lance next to like any Water type, whether it be uh, Urshifu Rapid, Ogre Pond Water, like that's that's really strong. Yeah, no, like this guy's. He's got a lot of potential, I think. Well, I'm writing I down every time you curse in this video so I can bleed it later. You bleep him on this channel? Yeah, why not? I mean, this channel's gonna earn me money, so. Okay, I didn't know that. All right, behold, Caloric Shadow, choice specs. Ah. Whoa. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, I had to, he made me feel something. Yeah, whoa, Astro Barrage be upon ye, uh, Draining Kiss be upon ye. Shadow Ball in case their wide guard be upon ye and expanding force be upon ye. Psy Shock too. Psy Shock over Shadow Ball is probably not a bad idea. It depends. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this guy's ridiculous. You always just run this unless you want to run Sash. That's another option. Um, and you put it next to Ndidi or like Tailwind or like a Helping Hand Mon or Farigraph and you click Helping Hand, Astral Barrage, and the damage calcs on this guy are ridiculous. You manage to score a KO, you get plus one. Dark types are mandatory in this format. Because of this thing. Because of this thing. This is Which now it, has stab fairy move in the use of yeah, Draining Kiss actually is ridiculous because it's not a it's not a frail Pokemon. It's not a frail Pokemon. So like it, it can turn into a fairy and like just completely annihilate you. Yeah, this won 22 worlds too, so yeah, I think every Psyspan player collectively screamed yesterday when they saw that this was allowed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I love how much the scene grew in 2023 um, because so many people don't know about 2022. <laughs> this guy's yeah, objectively this, the best I'm, Pokemon. 
Right, like this 122 off size pin. Like you don't even need to do that. You can run it with the firewater grass core. You can run it with like double fake out guys. You can run it on tailwind. You can run it on anything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I think that this guy up. will single handedly bring um, thunderous usage back up just because you have eerie impulse and that's like huge. Yeah, so. I, yeah I could see it. All right, core add on. I actually am a core add on believer after last night testing with uh, Luca Trejut. We found this guy's actually insane. Arguably better than Groudon. I'm not even going to lie. Really? Yeah. Uh, so the set that we were oh, testing man. out was Choice I have, Band. I've yet to see anything about this guy, but I want to believe you. Yeah. So this guy's ridiculous. Uh, Choice Band. You max max. You always max max or you lose to Flutterman. Terrifier. Right. Okay. And you run it on like good stuff balance. But your, okay. your moveset is U-Turn, Collision Course, Flare Blitz... And um, I don't know if one shot the other restricted. I know what the last move was that we ran. I was it dragon think... move or was it fighting move? Because if it was I fighting think, move, I guess I, th I think we just put I forget. I think we might have put outrage as like a filler or just dragon claw, whatever. But yeah, uh, point is the multipliers this guy gets is ridiculous. Let me run this calc for you and you'll understand, MJ. But or right on. Oh. This is Let Jolly, by the way. We're Jolly 252, which means the, the damage gets higher than this. Uh, Terra Fire. Terra Flare Blitz. And Collision Course. Those are your two main moves, obviously. And we'll put it up against a Kyogre. If a 4 HP Kyogre switches in on this, you know, Rain goes up, Collision Course is a two-shot, you outspeed, you KO it, right? Right. If the sun is up, Collision course, 72 to 85. And you know what's funny? I didn't add the choice band yet. If that one shots. Collision course, band. one shots. Flare blitz, one shots. Yeah. The water type? Yep. What? Yep. Whoa. <laughs> See, I was thinking, because you didn't know what your fourth move was, I was like, let me let me speak to the people. Try a low kick to one-shot all the other restricted. No, you just run Collision Course. It's not... You don't well, even need to. Collision Course is doing it already. You ain't even need that. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Collision Course, like, if it's super effective, it gets a 30% boost. Um, okay, but that's, it's... that's versus Kyogre. Dog, versus Groudon, low kick, just straight one-shots. Sure. Yeah, low... Dude, it's like 150 base power, because Groudon's so heavy. Groudon... So collision course to 70. I mean, flare blitz one shots, but <laughs> so low kick with this, you don't even need to Terra. I think I would just still flare blitz to be honest. Bro. Oh, I mean, look at what you're looking at though. <laughs> that is a lot of damage, but I don't want to get locked into low kick. Like if they switch in the ogre pond, I do six damage. <laughs> like, you know, um, just, I mean, I don't know. Step, that, that still do a lot. Yeah. Do, so go. you know how like my, you know how my GC team was Terra Fire Fluttermane with boost or Terra Flying Fluttermane with booster energy, Icy Wind and Choice Band Landorus. Right. This plays the exact same way, except you get to run Sash Fluttermane with Icy Wind and you click Flare Blitz. It's the exact same concept. Yeah. I can't even see. Th this guy looks like he can run any item. Amulet, Band, uh, Assault Scarf. Vest. Scarf. Scarf even. Yeah. I was thinking that for like Maridon later. Um... Yeah, no, this thing might be an issue. Scale shot loaded dice could even be a thing. Yeah, we're like, even considering running um <laughs> running uh what's the fire type trailblaze? Flame charge. Flame charge. Yeah, we're Is considering running clear amulet flare uh flame charge. Bro. Because it you one shots flutter if you terra fire. Why does it get shadow claw? It's not walled by a Lunala now. What? Nope. Maybe that's the best final move. I don't know. Okay, Mirad on. There is one item for this thing in my opinion. <laughs> It's Scarf or Specs? It's Specs. Okay. So I it's think spec. that Terra Ghost oh, Choice Specs is really solid on this dude. Um, because you can pair it, you can pair it with uh Covert Cloak Iron Bundle. <laughs> Meaning that you're able to click uh what's it called? Electro Drift into literally everything. So Icy Wind into Electro Drift will one shot everything in the game. Granted, they're not immune. That is not an exaggeration. Yeah, no, I mean, same concept as the Karadon buffs, right? It's like, the same, it's the same idea. Brand. Quick yeah. your move, okay? So, yeah, the issue I, with Karadon is that it doesn't have other moves. It's got Electro Drift, and that's really all you want to be clicking. 
Yeah, I mean, you also get Volt Switch, which is actually, like, really crazy damage if there's something on the field you want to get away from. Uh, like, Draco Meteor, Dazzling Gleam is, like, not a bad moveset. I think that's, like, the only moveset. It, yeah. Or, like, maybe Detect Solar Beam. But, like, yeah. I don't know. I feel like locking into that move's not a good idea. <laughs> oh, no, no. The streets told me that Iron Bundle Miraidon is the play. Uh, final Pokemon. Let's get this one. This guy. So this one, yeah, you did dictionary to figure out how this guy worked yeah so this these are the base stats right here's the major downside with um with this guy that i think is gonna definitely make the skill ceiling on him kind of high but the skill floor extremely low um you have to tear it basically to get any value but also when you tear it the value is ridiculous um he can do one thing and one thing only, I think he has one move set. It is leftovers. Uh, calm mind. What? What is that? Calm mind. Terra Star Storm. Earth Power. Protect. I can hit the button. <laughs> Protect. Hmm. Uh, and yeah. So the reason you do that is because with Terra Shell, you basically always get one calm mind for free. Granted, they don't go for fake out close combat. He only has one weakness. He's a pure normal type. Uh, and Terra Star Storm, while it is single target, if you tear it, it becomes dual target and 120 base power. So the math on that, what's 75% of 120? It's like a little over 100, isn't it? Or no, it's not. It's a little under 100. Is it 75? 0.75 times 120. It's 90. That's what it is. Um, I should have known that actually. It's divisible by four. I'm stupid. <laughs> but yeah, it's 90 base power hits both opponents. And with Terra Stellar, the only thing that hits you for super effective damage is other Terrapagos. Uh, or the only thing... Sorry. The only thing that uh, doesn't get hit for neutral... Oh no, everything gets hit for neutral or it gets hit for super effective. If they Terra, they get hit for super effective. So that's why like the skill ceiling in this Pokemon is so high. If you position it well and you put it with the right Pokemon, it can be really strong. The main issue with it is you have to Terra and that's like really bad in some situations. Like yesterday I was playing against MJ and I let off Urshifu Tornadus versus uh, Indeedee Terrapagos. And every game I was completely comfortable just going for Wicked Blow into the Indeedee because I knew that he only got value if he terrored the Terrapagos. So I always got that KO for free. And that's like yeah. a huge downside. So I'm kind of like iffy on this thing. It, it'll probably be better in dual restricted when you can, you know, run it next to Calyrex Shadow. Um, yep. <laughs> but its ability when it Terras, its ability when it Terras is actually insane. If I could here a trap yeah, ghost stellar um, i was trying to i was trying to use this guy with power meteor beam because it gets that and it no. does one shot in center or but i yeah you I want think leftovers because it lets yeah. you just keep getting that that shell back by the way the shell the most important yeah, thing, yeah it's it's better multi-scale because when you're at full hp you resist the move it doesn't just have the damage you straight up resist it and that continues for multi-hit moves so surging strikes gets halved for every single hit um yeah. also you know, this guy, Terraform Zero, when you terrestrialize, it removes all terrain and weather. So into like Protosynthesis Mons or like, you know, Electro Drift guy, you massively reduce the damage. And also you get to hit them with Terra Star Storm at plus one, which is frankly kind of ridiculous damage, um, even though it's only coming off a base 130 special attack. So, and also you're extremely bulky. So it's it's a really crazy mon, but it, it's it takes a lot of care to set up. I think a good comparison would be Zygarde. I could find yeah. It. Yeah, that is a really good example because Thousand Arrows also hits two guys. It's significantly stronger, especially when it tears. That 130 uh, attack, or one special attack, is like really, really nuts. Yeah, so for example, Groudon, right? Let's say you're running like max HP Groudon into this thing and you're not Assault Vest and this guy's modest say like 236 right like a pretty decent investment and they're at plus one terra star storm into that guy you be doing 50 to 62 percent you're um if this guy's like max hp and like the the rest in defense right let's put like four four <laughs> and then like defense right let's say they're running something like this Groudon, on 252 attack Adamant Nature, Crespus Blades, 
your P blades is doing like less than a third, depending on their build. So they always get like two of these off. And with proper speed control, like this thing can sweep whole teams. Defensively, you know, let's say that there's like an Urshifu and there's like, I don't know, let's say that there's like an Urshifu and you are a Groudon and you don't want to get hit for super effective damage from surging strikes. So the way that you live that is by going for Terra Grass. Terrapa Ghost goes, oh, awesome, you Terra. Now I hit you for super effective because it's stellar. It's kind yeah. of a crazy move. I think this guy is going to get better with time for sure. Like, yeah, like we're going to find the the team that it works on. But for now, it's like iffy. Yeah. And then that team is going to get used a lot. Yeah. But it's not going to be at the beginning of the format, I don't think. Like he's not a he's. I think he's an A tier. But like I, think he's like B. I, I put him B. High B, low A is my yeah. my take for sure. But yeah, uh, those are my thoughts on the restricteds. Uh, anything you want to add? I'm excited to see how this plays out because it's either going to be the best format ever or the worst format ever. And I feel like there's a zero in between. <laughs> also, we skip Lunala uh, Dawn Wings because it's bad. It's the same thing that Lunala does, but worse. So. Yeah. so, yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the second channel. Goodbye.